Hello everyone, welcome to the fourth video of the Diabetes Prediction System video series. In the last video, we have done the basic settings on PyCharm and in this video, we are going to design the home.html page. So this is the code that we have written so far and this is our web page. Let me refresh this. Okay, this is working fine. Now we will edit this home.html page. Uh, we are going to begin by adding a background image to our web page. For that we have to create a folder which is named as static in this directory. Uh, for that right click on this directory and uh, directory and the name of this directory will be static. And inside static create an, another directory and name this as diabetes prediction. And inside this diabetes prediction, create an another directory and name this as images. And inside this images directory, you have to put the image that you want to use. Now for my case, the image is present on the desktop. So I will just drag and drop into this. Okay. Okay. So here you can see that our image is present here. Next, you have to do some basic settings in the settings.py file. So let's open this and drag to the bottom. So here you have to add few lines of code. This static is the name of uh, the folder that we have used over here. Again, this static is the name of this folder. So now the basic settings have been done and now we can edit our home.html page. For adding the background image, I'm going to use internal CSS. So let me add this in the head tag here, style, then body. the static keyword and then the relative path of our image. So let me copy the relative path from here. Copy relative path and paste it over here. Okay, so from here we can just remove this thing because we are already, because we have already given the default path of the static folder in our settings directory. So this is now fine and we have to add just one more thing over here on the top that is load static. Okay, now let's refresh our home page again and see whether this is the thing is working or not. Okay, let me start the server again. Okay, there is some error. Okay, so let's open our settings.py file. And here we have just skipped this comma. Okay, now it's fine. Let's refresh this again. And yeah, our server has been started. So let me refresh it again. Okay, so here you can see that our background image is visible. So now we can add up uh, some more tags on our home page. So we can cut this paragraph tag and create a div tag over here. 
align equals center and I will create a heading over here a heading tag h1 tag and welcome to diabetes prediction system perfect now let's create a form action equals predict okay so we are creating this form because inside this form we are going to create a submit button and when the user will click that submit button it will redirect it to and another page whose name is predict so we have not created that page yet we are going to create it afterwards first of all let me create the button here input type equals submit value equals you can write anything over here but I am writing let's get started and yeah it's done so let me refresh my home page again and see what's here okay welcome to the diabetes prediction system and let's get started this button has been created and when I click this button it will give me it is giving me an error that the current path predict didn't match any of these because we have not created any a page which is named as predict yet so let's go back and let's create an another page first for that just go to the template where we where you have created the home page and here right click and select HTML page and let's name this as predict okay let's give a title to this page and let's write something random so that we can check that whether our page is working or not all right we have to do some settings in the urls.py file as well so let's create an another path over here path and now here you have to specify slash predict and then views dot predict okay so now we have to create a predict function in the views.py file okay let's copy this thing from here and paste it again and let's change this name as predict and here you have to write the name of the page that is predict so let's check whether this thing is working or not refresh this okay let's get started okay so there is some error here okay let's sort out the error the error is something in the urs.py file mm, we have to add this slash at the end instead of the beginning so let's refresh this thing this thing again mm, go back click on this button and yeah our predict page is working fine so let's go back again and here I will add some CSS properties to make this thing a look look little better you can add the CSS properties as per your choice so let me do this thing quickly uh, I will share the code of this CSS in a link below in the description so you can just copy and paste it from there okay so the code for this style tag will be available in the description so for now let me write this thing mm. Okay, for body it's written let me write it for div tag
okay so it's done now there is some error okay it is almost done so let me refresh my home page again and see what it look like okay so there are some issues with the color this welcome to the diabetes prediction system should be in white and the color of this button should be like light blue so let me check it check it again I've used the wrong symbol here it should be hash okay so now it should be fine okay yeah so now you can see that our home page is perfectly fine and once I click on this button let's get started it is redirecting me to the another to another page which is the predict page so that's all for this video in the next video we are going to edit this predict page and in the last video we are going to link our backend code with the graphical user interface.